So only a couple drafts in so far. Two won both of them. So we have some goodies for sure. Um, I don't think I want to start things off with a multicolored card. So that rules out Armament Core, Savage Twister, Fire Wheeler, Ribbons of Night. I'm looking at Lightning Bolt, Demonic Tutor. I don't really know what you Demonic Tutor here. Hey, turn two Stormcrow, good to see you. Um, I mean, the card is absurd regardless. I didn't even realize can't go wrong with Bolt. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Just super efficient removal, good in aggro or control. Um, I like Days a lot. I don't think I would take it over Bolt here. War Gear is good too, yeah. Sounds like you maybe are enjoying the more aggressive decks in this format. <clears throat> Played one aggro deck and one control myself. I think I agree with you and I will take this bolt here. War Gear is colorless, but this card just goes into pretty much any deck. Now we're seeing an on crop crasher, which is gonna end up red rocks me. There's a remand in the pack too. Um, like Torment of Scarabs a lot. One thing that I really like about um, Amaz's Cube, I mean, I like a lot about Amaz's Cube, but one thing is that he really seemed to push the uh, synergistic archetypes. Haven't got around to five color jank. Yeah, yeah, me neither. <laughs> um, so for instance, you have Johnny's Pride Mate and there are a bunch of different white black life gain cards that are supposed to synergize with it, which is cool. I think I am going to take the Crasher here. I know a lot of people like the Vivid Lands. Uh, Signet is kind of interesting, yeah. I, Remand probably not quite as good here as in the higher power cubes, but yeah, let's just take the Crasher. It goes with the Bolt, and it's just a really nice 3-drop. Okay, now it looks like we're going to be doing something different. I mean, we could just take Pacification Array. Good card no matter where we end up. Um, some good black cards. I think the Eldest Reborn might be the most powerful card in the pack. Uh, Perilous Mirror is not bad, probably underrated, and Rot Farm is nice too. I think I want to take the Array for the same reason I took the Bolt. It's just good in aggro or control. I'm going to take the Array, I think. I think this just leaves me open to whatever I want to do, but I think the Eldest Reborn is quite nice. Okay, now we're seeing Bloodbraid Elf, which is very good if we want to try to do that. There's a Rancor in the pack. Spellgorger Weird, not bad. Array so underrated, yeah, that's true. And just based on that, there's a chance it wheels, but didn't really feel like going for it. Opportunity, very nice in the pack as well. Um, hmm. don't think Bloodbraid is a very high pick. I don't think most people want to end up red-green in this kind of format. Um, Spellgorger let, lets me play kind of aggro or control still, which I'm a fan of. There's also just opportunity. I think I'm going to take the Spellgorger here, but this is getting increasingly close. I'm trying to stay open, but the Eldest Reborn and Opportunity are both very strong cards. Now we're not seeing anything really for black. Cube, nice. Hey, uh, Mystic Hen, good to see you. Um, so this is just basically a test of my ability to resist playing red aggro here as I'm past a Burning Fist Minotaur, which is a great two drop. Um, hmm. Hypnotic Sprite, probably not worth going blue for. The Pyramid is nice too. Pyramid I would even play in red aggro if I had to, but I think based on my start here, I just have to take this Minotaur. Now there's an Abrade too. I do like the cards in this pack quite a bit though. Golden Demise and Beast Attack, both very nice. Um, could end up two color aggro. I don't actually know if mono red is doable in this format. Um, and yeah, we could easily end up like red white here if we end up wheeling one of the white cards. The Boros Garrison is not something I'm super interested in, but a braid is just another 
clean removal spell, so pick it up. Good with the um, spell gorger weird too. Now there's an anax. We're getting a little clogged on threes, um, but I think that's okay. I think this is kind of the direction that I was supposed to go in this draft as, you know, as much as everyone here might be used to the old red aggro deck. Now I think it's a pretty clear Boros Challenger. There's nothing else in the pack. We've seen some good white cards. Honden, uh, notwithstanding. There's a Relic, which could be fine out of the sideboard. Uh, it's probably here for the green-black deck, which I assume very late Oak Guardian. Yeah, the card's pretty expensive, but it looked pretty strong. Let's just see if red-white is possible here. Now we're seeing a Celebrant, and we're short on two drops, so that's pretty nice. There's also Ministrant of Obligation and even a Grafted War Gear. I think I just want the two drop badly enough, but yeah, I don't know. That could easily be wrong. Wow. Bloodlust and Cider now. Not a very exciting card in general, but this is the exact kind of card I want to wheel in this spot. Uh, Emissary of Sunrise, good card in normal limited, but um, I think the Insider is just too good for what we have going on here. Don't really care about a Vivid Land, even if we do end up playing white. Okay, now I think we can take a Sword Tooth. I mean, we could take the Perilous Mirror, or actually maybe the Spined Thopter is the best card. Basically everything here is an option. Um, Sword Tooth is the best body, and we don't have any fives. Uh, but a 2-mana two 2-1 two Flyer is always nice. Just ignore the uh, blue Phyrexian mana symbol there, and as much as I like Perilous Mirror, and it's even in my uh, cube on the other screen, it just feels like... Um, this card is much more what we're trying to do. Now we can take a Rancor, open ourselves up to red-green. Very surprised to see this come around, but I guess somebody took Bloodbraid over it. I guess we'll take a Bondkin here. Not sure we'll play this card, but it's reasonable. And Beast Within, I don't really think I'm ever playing that. Um, I guess I'll just take the Scrabbling Claws, yeah. And the Fountain. Fountain probably there for the black-white life gain deck. Okay, so we may or may not be in white or in green. Oh, but now we see a Mother of Runes, so probably playing white after all. Um, <clears throat> very good black cards in the pack. Uh, Bituminous Blast is excellent. Thermal Alchemist is really nice too. Mother of Rune's a bit awkward, as it is a 1-mana card for white, and yeah, if I'm not playing very much white, or not very many white mana sources, then it's going to be a little clunky, but I think the card is just good enough. Better enough, I should say, than everything else here. Maybe we wheel a Fire Ice, we'll see. Um, now we see a Master Splicer, I guess. Yeah. Um, hmm. Yeah, Master Splicer, our first possible four drop. Not sure about this Bondkin, but I like the Challenger, I think. Even Alchemist, yeah. Alchemist, not the most likely wheel, but definitely would be a nice one. Don't think this is really competing with anything else. I really have liked uh, Gifted Aetherborn so far. 2-3 feels like the right body for 2 mana, and the 2 abilities have just been very good, um, both on aggro and defense. Um, but Cone of Flame, Lightning Mauler, and Sunlance, all pretty solid for this deck. Um, I'm always a big fan of take the like one card in a color to try to wheel something else, but given that we don't even know that we're in white, and... These cards are both very good for this kind of deck. I think I'm just going to take this Cone of Flame. I think the Mauler is decently likely to wheel. It's our first 5-mana card. Had some hiccups. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still working on that. One of my friends is a little techier than I am, so hopefully um, with his help I'll be able to cut down on all that. Okay. Um, Blood Fray Giant. Really cool card. 4 mana, 5, 4, Trample, effectively, can't block. Um, there's also Chandra's Outrage. 
and yeah we can start picking up some more expensive cards now um cone of flame sort of counts as an expensive card but i mainly meant more expensive creatures um and again we still don't know that we're in white so we could end up cutting some of these <clears throat> now stone right i think probably better than a loxodon warhammer here uh duelist is a fine too yeah yeah um and that's kind of why i was saying the stuff about not being sure we're in white yet because even though i do like the duelist as a card um just not convinced i'm there yet um i like having another one drop in my deck and as much as the warhammer is good i think i would rather take like a grafted war gear than this loxodon warhammer this would be great in the sideboard uh if we end up against another aggro deck but let's just take that thing Tybalt is cool. The static ability might be pretty relevant if we're playing against a black-white life gain deck, but I think I'm going to take a Blinding Beam here. I think Blinding Beam is really nice. Um, the fact that it says creatures don't untap during target player's next untap step means you can uh, lock down more than two creatures if they've attacked with some already or something like that, and feel like this is the kind of uh, card I'm willing to splash. Yeah, anyway, I started with Sleep in the sideboard, and then I found that in more than one matchup, I just ended up against these hyper-aggro um, decks that make a ton of tokens, and Sleep is just like a win-the-game card. Granted, Blinding uh, Beam is not Sleep, but it's not too far away from it either. Um, I think I'm just taking Aerosaur here. Not really into a spark mage steward is a really good two drop but i think it's more for a slower kind of archetype uh we didn't wheel the um yeah we didn't wheel the red white gold card from pack one so there might be someone else we're competing with it's just worth thinking about uh rocks veteran now another good one I think I'm taking Rimrock Knight here, though. Um, yeah, this one is kind of tough, but I think I just want to keep my curve low, and this card's pretty good, so. Sorry, Rocks Veteran. I'm not even sure this is correct. I think the Rocks is pretty good, but oh well. Okay, we can play a Fire. Card is not embarrassing. Mask of Memory pretty strong card um i've seen it do a lot of work in commander but without much evasion i don't think it's going to be very good here okay really nothing for us i guess we're taking shredded sails uh this pack was kind of dry first time around if i remember correctly man we already have a ton of playables um but yeah picking up a sideboard card here is not too bad and wow lightning mauler wheel so we got both great red cards from that pack, Cone of Flame and the Mauler. It's really nice. Chandra's Outrage could make the deck. Um, I don't know if I'm ever playing either of these. I don't think my fixing is good enough for Kong Ming, so I guess we're taking Stone Cloaker. And a Tybalt, if we want it. Sure. And even this thing. Renegade Wheelsmith. Could try to wheel that one and take the Magma Jet. Pretty much the only real choices, I think. Actually, Bugler would be good here, too. Incredible and Mirrodin, yeah. I really like the Mask. It's one of those cards that I feel like is probably underrated if we saw it go fairly late. Um, but I think, yeah, the Bugler finds most of creatures it misses like crasher and it even hits the splicer which is funny um misses rimrock i guess but i think we just want to take this magma jet and try to wheel uh either the wheelsmith or the bugler wheelsmith of course a card 
I jammed into my uh, Star Wars cube, which I'm just gonna keep talking about here and there. Um, okay, now Crimson Mage, Filigree Familiar, or Vithian Stinger. There's also a Splendor Mare. Could even take the Nomad Outpost, but I think a tap land would be <laughs> bad for this deck, to say the least. Um, yeah, yeah, no, I was <laughs> very aware of that terrible pun and still walked into it at least three different times, so, oh well. Um, I think I'm going to take the Stinger here. Crimson Mage is not amazing. Um, seems like it's a lot worse than Lightning Mauler, and we already wheeled the Mauler, so I think we can just take this. Not sure we'll main it. Ooh, now we're seeing... Good two drop, good land, and active aggression, which is a nice card. Though I think active aggression, ironically, is better if you're on defense because then you get to use it as like a ray of command, right? Um, I think I might just take a forgotten cave, even after just talking about how bad tap lands are. That'd be pretty silly, wouldn't it? Um, Chainwalker good too of course but i don't know i'm just not in love with the act of treason i think it's there for the red black sack deck or just to be a ray of command on defense and yeah we're already there on playables so i think the land has some value maybe i should have taken the try land too now i think are we taking burst lightning over path feels like that's where we are right now yeah i'm gonna take this burst Sorry, Path. I don't want to speed up my opponent's mana, I guess. Could take a Werewolf here. Volcanic Dragon, of course, is too much mana. We might be able to cut the white here. Not sure if we want to or not. Good one drop is nice. Yeah, Disharmony. Yeah. Um, there are some other two drops here that I don't like. Shepherd of the Flock, not a big fan. Lesser Manticore, really not what I'm trying to do here, I think. So, yeah, we might just be able to cut the white after all. Or we could take either a red white land or this card. Honden is probably much better than Stinger, though. Honden's probably just good enough. And I did pass the white Honden already. Um, if that is meaningful in any way. I think the Honden is probably good enough. Better than some cards I'm not going to play, especially if I cut the white. Uh, these cards are both interesting. I think I want the Racer. Yeah. And there's the wheel smith on the wheel. So now this pack I could have picked up two red white duels and they're both enter tapped lands. I don't know. Hmm. It's definitely awkward. Well, okay. I guess we're just gonna have the chance to do this if we want it. <laughs> How does this deck look without the white? It's probably much better. I mean, we miss out on some power level, but it seems better in general, I guess. I guess we'll take this Crimson Mage and the Chainwalker now. Nice. Yeah, now I'm definitely happy about the uh, Burst Lightning pick over Path. Maybe this thing doesn't make it. I don't really like this card. I could see 15 lands here. We've got few cards at 4 mana and 1 at 5. And nothing for us here. This card's amazing, so I'm going to take that. Might as well play Fountain now. Is there literally any reason not to? Just some 1 drops if we're keeping like a 1 lander, but that seems pretty loose. Yeah, you might be right here. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. This is where, like, 
having fixing that enters tapped is really kind of restrictive because I think the red white deck could have been about as good, if not better than the red green deck we could have had. But I just I never wanted to take fixing that entered tapped. Maybe if there were like a red white cycling land that enters tapped, but that doesn't exist. So, okay. Um, yeah, I think there's just about no reason not to play the fountain here, which is kind of funny. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Um, so now the question is, how many lands do I want to play? Slash, do I want to cut anything? I think with only three four mana cards and one five mana card, I can get away with 15 lands here. So I really want to be as low to the ground as possible. Kind of mana hungry. Um, we do have um, like Smoldering Werewolf and Pacification Array. Even the uh, Burning Fist Minotaur likes mana to be sunk into it, but I think this is fine. Okay, this looks like a keep. Um, Careless Celebrant is going to be our first play and pretty much the reason we're keeping the hand. MTG bot. Oh no, it got it right. Paired against a 1 0 player, though. Getting wrecked for my stream title, I guess. I wonder if this person was in my pod. I think we passed this land. Maybe not. Um, I think I want to play this. There's another option with like trying to Rimrock here and get some value, but if they kill this, then the Rimrock is gone for good, so it seems pretty bad. Into open mana, at least. Counterspell, consign. Okay, I accept. I kind of think they consigned the wrong one. In fact, like I don't want to say objectively, but this deals more damage, it costs more mana. Kind of an interesting choice. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't think I care too much about that thing. I might just block here. Yeah, not crazy for them to block. Um, I'm gonna let this happen. Get the Reckless Racer going. Really wanna hit land number four. That's pretty good for them. Okay, let's see if we can draw land here. It's gonna be kind of a big deal. Nope. All right, well that sucks, but there's nothing I can do about that. So just run this out again and try again. <laughs> okay, compulsive, discard celebrant, or not, yeah. So I think if we end up going to the late game whatsoever, the opponent is totally favored. Oh, these discarded lingering souls. It's turn five so they can hit a land, flashback souls. Yikes. Need this cone of flame.
Mm -hmm. Probably attack. Yep. Yikes. Um, yes, actually the smoldering is looking pretty good here. Yeah, I think, actually I think a braid is my worst card at this juncture. Hmm. So now I can play a Burning Fist. I could just play a Spell Gorger to be mana efficient. Don't hate that. My other option is Burning Fist plus Burst there, but I don't really care about my life total. I'd rather get the value from the Spell Gorger, I think. Yeah, the Werewolf should be amazing if we can ever draw that land. I just unearth this. No. Alchemy. Yeah, their deck is cool. Wonder if they have any white mana for the Lingering Souls, or if they're just planning on binning it somehow. Transforms into a 6-4 that shocks something when it attacks. Okay. Um, this is actually tough. I don't know which one of these I'd rather have. Because, like, uh, I guess I'm keeping the racer. That might have been the wrong choice. I don't know. This way I'm pretty likely to hit a land, though. Two draw steps. Oh, got there on one. No days, please. Nice. Um, I don't know if I want to rummage here. The Celebrant is not looking amazing. I think I'm going to choose no, though, which kind of makes me feel like I got rid of the wrong creature. But if I didn't draw a land there, then I'd almost definitely rummage, so. Might be a little results-oriented to say I made the wrong choice. So even though pretty close in terms of life totals. The things that matter now, it's basically just cards in hand. Let's see how they attack here. Not at all. Interesting. Um, why am I getting that notification while I play? guess I want to play like these two or something. Don't think I want to attack with the smoldering. Could have been the stone right. They could have so much stuff available here. Yeah, let's just get rid of the stone right. Okay, Stinger, not terrible. Okay. Now I think we just flood the board and we get wrecked if they have a Wrath, but so be it. Three cards in hand for them. The racer is not in Star Wars Cube. Uh, it's one of the ones I was like very borderline on. Um, I might put it in there anyway. Um, 
pretty much the red white archetype for the star wars cube is supposed to be i mean it's vehicles and it's supposed to be like uh, pod racing on like tatooine or whatever um and yeah you have like most dwarves that have some kind of synergy there um oh okay a lot of cards with the subtype pilot which you don't see almost anywhere but the racer was one of the ones i opted not to include okay it feels like they're gonna get blown out here pretty badly actually so i think my play is just land attack i think this can attack too don't think this one can um yeah let's just do this no i mean we could actually yeah we could get rid of the stinger sure and we're just going to try to blow them out with first strike one card in hand for them i think this is a game they are losing so now if the rimrock resolves then i kill i mean i kill everything so let's try to do that okay um Alternately, I think, well, let's see, if I discarded two cards, I could have gotten four damage. No, so I could have put them at two. I don't think it really matters though. Um, hmm. I think we just want to pass with Chandra's Outrage up. Yeah, they're probably dead anyway. And I actually feel like this is better than just trying to put them to two because, um, I mean, we basically give up our board presence if we try to do that one black mana okay feels like this is coming back yep i think i'm just going to kill that here they have some kind of like instant speed bone splinters effect and you got me but one card in hand they chose not to cast that i'm going to attack here do we even want to show them this i guess not <laughs> it's getting like difficult to try to figure out how i could lose this game i'm sure there's a way but ice okay Choose no. Now, I think I just burst lightning them on upkeep. Oh. Okay, so they did find a way to survive. Um, I think I'm just perfectly okay with that. So now, now I'm going to empty my hand because they do have this thing. Well, Oh, okay, they just had enough. All right, well. <laughs> yeah, that was a weird game. I think that was actually extremely difficult to play optimally, just because there were so many <laughs> different winning lines there, but it didn't actually matter. Um, 
Okay. Kind of think I'm running this back. They show me many flyers. I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's what. <laughs> I don't think that's why they did that, but I guess it's possible. Claws can hit Lingering Souls, and it can hit. I think there's like one other card with flashback. I don't think it's worth changing anything though. The Cone of Flame might actually be too bad here. I thought it was going to be pretty good, but just felt too slow the whole time. And ended up being pretty good that we kept the Racer over the um, Spellgorger weird. Strangely enough, that first strike interaction like won the game. <laughs> okay, opponent's mulliganing on the play. I like that. Don't know if there are any discard spells in this cube or not. Because every time I see someone lead on a swamp, I'm expecting like Inquisition or Thoughtseize. I mean, Thoughtseize was never printed at Uncommon, I guess, but. <laughs> I gotta braid the prism. That feels terrible. This is actually a pretty bad hand. I don't think I want um, my spells to be this reactive in general. Sidraxis? No, Souls. Well, Stinger pretty good against that one. Though they are going to be able to flash it back here. Hopefully they can't kill the Stinger, because then I'll be kind of in trouble. No. My last deck had, um, whatever it's called. Um... The red sweeper thing. Okay, they're just flashing it back, sure. Don't kill it. I feel like it's dying. Yep. Oh wow. That was a beating. Yikes. So now I need like the werewolf off the top. Rock is not gonna do it. Um I think I just play this. So now they're in this awkward spot where maybe they leave one back to block. Yeah, and then I get to burst it and get in for more damage. Oh, interesting. That was pretty good. Let's see if they have a counter. It's so bad for me, okay. I think I'm losing this game by a lot. Prism pretty good in their deck. Just cast two spells they otherwise would not have been able to cast. Oh, <laughs> okay, I think we're dead. We need werewolf now, and even if we draw that... Oh, well, we drew the werewolf. <laughs> I was going to say, even if we draw that, they have five cards in hand, so any spot removal spell puts us in pretty bad shape. Another off-color card. Ooh, that's a nice one. I think I'm going to abrade that. Important to play the land, I think, here for transformational purposes. So we'll read that. Um, they can gain life, they can scry, they can make me lose life. I think it's just good enough value. Though, funnily enough, had we abraded the prism, we would have cut them off the fire, um, the lingering souls the first time, and the ether rot page. Compulsive, okay.
feels like this is dying. Or maybe this is a Phyrexian Rager. Oh, Golden Demise. Yeah, that's pretty good. As a one for one, it's a little fairer, but. Okay. <laughs> Slowly but surely. This card's very nice against Lingering Souls, too. Um, guess we discard Bolt. Don't really think I need to go for anything here. Usually the best on in. Yeah. Pretty good one. I think I'm just gonna go for this now. They have like a bounce spell, okay. Five cards in hand though, to my one. Yikes, and that's a good one too. Yeah, this feels like the deck that I had earlier, except I wasn't splashing like crazy. Yeah, now I don't think I can win, unfortunately. If I had the bolt, then I'm like almost in the game, but Talran's invocation a little too good here too. I'm wondering how this game would have gone had I just abraded the prism. Feels like a terrible play, killing a card that draws a card, but or that's already drawn a card, I should say. Yeah, now I'm just super dead. Doesn't matter what I do. Yeah, not gonna cut it. Okay, wish we had some kind of like faithless looting effect. Um, this can kill some stuff and it can destroy an artifact. So maybe this is good enough. What are we cutting though? We don't really have any cards that are bad in the matchup, do we? Maybe Stone Right? But even that is just another creature that we could need. Yeah, the blue Honden's good. I think the green Honden is probably like one mana overcosted from being really nice, but I'm not sure which one is the best overall. Um, maybe this card is just bad. Maybe a braid already does. The question is though, like, how do I beat that five mana three four? Maybe there isn't a card worse than this. All right. Okay, play first. Yeah, this is a keep. Gonna need a land here though. Without a land, we're still in okay shape. Maybe Cone of Flame was just not good enough though. Interesting. I think I bolt that, weirdly enough. Now we're hoping to draw a land. Okay, no land. Starting to think Cone of Flame should not have been in the deck even though it is very powerful. No. Okay. It's probably pretty good for them. Land? 
Nice. That land was kind of a big deal. <laughs> Basically determines whether we get to play magic this turn or not. Please be cracking this. Nice. So that means we get five damage here, unless they have a daze. They do not have a daze. Okay, Compulsive. I think Compulsive is going to be too slow here. So right now, on the surface, they're taking another 5. They could have Golden Demise. Right now, they don't even have Double Black, though. So we'll see what they discard here. Ooh, two spells, so they're missing lands. Oh, I forgot they ramped. Yeah, no, they did ramp by one. Um, could just exert this. Play the spell gorger weird. And the land. Try to cone of flame next turn if possible. Another option would be just attack, try to get them to double block and then use the abrade, but this gets in three damage. I think we're in decent shape here. Forbidden alchemy. Yeah, these cards are really slow when I'm dealing you a bunch of damage every turn. Oh wow, they had it. Man, would not have guessed from the way they played that. If we could just go face with all these, they would just be dead here, right? Four, three, three, yeah, it's exactsies. Okay. Normally that'd be terrifying, but with the Outrage in hand, we're good. Yeah, I didn't think they had it because they played the Souls, but I guess they were just looking for it, didn't have it yet. Okay. We're not in bad shape here, though. Not great shape either, mind you, but could be worse. Okay, I think I'm just abrading that. Okay. Hmm. This is difficult. I think I am supposed to abrade this. Pretty good cone of flame here, I think. Choose any target, one damage. Two, three. Now we're just top decking. Yikes, looks like they drew a good one. Seven mana. Oh, nope, <laughs> they already had that one. Forgot about that. Do you have a blocker? No, okay. It's gonna be a close one. They have ice here, okay. Mistraven, okay. Not too worried about the tempo. Just want more creatures. Well, not too bad. 
exclude, I'm sure. Really? It's still an exclude, yeah. Um, I think I need to kill the raven. We'll do it now, I guess. Um, doesn't matter if we draw the cave. I don't think the stinger's good enough here. We've already seen lingering souls. Don't think I want that for any reason. Nine cards in library for the opponent, by the way. Okay. They're gonna have to kill me at some point. <laughs> sure. See if they have an answer for the werewolf or not. This thing might be the MVP here if they don't kill it. Uh, feels like it's dying. Paying costs. Not an X spell. Oh, ribbons again. Yikes. Yeah, that's super bad for me. They're still going to have to kill me very quickly, though. Soul Snuffers, hilarious. You have a 2-2. Two, two. Okay, that was not a good draw. <laughs> Can they kill me in five turns? If they draw any creature here, Feels pretty bad for me. The fact that the slug isn't attacking means I think they didn't draw anything. Where's my tome scour, right? They just miss double evolve? Is this the Talrans? No. Wait. Okay, so they're playing a... Why would you play that there? I guess you kind of have to. Bizarre, okay. <laughs> These land draws are not helping, but... What is this? Consign? Gladly, go ahead. Need them not to have a creature here. Uh, Preordain. I mean, they're going deeper into their deck, but if they just find the Talrans, they probably can kill me quickly enough. Yeah, so they're gonna mind drop me, and then they're gonna Talrans, and then they're gonna have eight power. Oh, I think I'm about to lose. Dang. Yep. Wait, that's not what I expected. Okay, we might be able to beat that. Come on, I need to draw something here. Some kind of spell, please. Okay, that's pretty good. I feel like the then where would it be? I don't understand. This thing can't attack. I think they're dead. Is that insane? They have to kill me somehow next turn. If the Shadow Mage thing attacks, they die. Okay.
think they're dead. Okay, let's just draw any any spell. Come on, anything. <laughs> Radiant fountain, perfect. Yes. Okay, well, that was <laughs> supremely entertaining, I think. That was so surprising and so, I don't know, <laughs> down to the last card. But let's be clear, I think the opponent had the win and I think they punted it because with the preordain, they get to scry two and then draw a card. They have three cards in their deck. They topped Shadow Mage over topping the Talrans. If they top the Talrans, even if that means just bottoming the other two and remembering that it's there, they win the game, so. Okay, keep. Um, I think I don't want to burst that. Pretty good against me here, though. Green, white. Okay. Wish we had that one the turn before. Actually, uh, I think I probably could have just killed that thing, but I think doing this is okay too. Maybe they go for some kind of aura there and we can burst it in response. Flicker Wisp. Well, I guess we are killing this here. Oh, I guess I punted technically. I should have let them target the inspector before doing that. I think I'll make this trade. New templating means I'm not two for wanting myself. Oh wow, they had the swords. Yep. Should have let them target the inspector. And yeah, do not have any legendary creature. So the plan is just to use the abrade to kill that. Behold. Good to see you set Twitch. We just won a match against some kind of like four color control deck by letting the opponent deck, which was pretty unbelievable. Okay, that's pretty good. In fact, I might, I think I'm just gonna kill this. Okay, block. I imagine there's no like invigorate that I should worry about. Maybe there is. Um, don't know if I want to trade two damage for three here. And I guess I have to kill them somehow. I have one five mana card in the deck, so I don't think I should be getting rid of the mountain. Hope you walked right into the trap. Yep, they sure did. Four mana, five, five, not so good when you attack into a first striker.
Yeah, Iwamori is a pretty sick card. Uh, don't want them to hit here. Kind of need them not to. Oh, they didn't. But they had something anyway. Yeah, I'm going to have to kill that, I guess. Their deck looks pretty good. Um, hmm. I think I just play this and pass. They have no attacks here. Opponent. Really? For real? Okay, we take those. <clears throat> Ooh, yuck. Okay, we do have some cards that can beat a Battle Screech, but not sure if we're going to draw any of them here. <laughs> Radiant Fountain. Oh, yeah. And unfortunately, we have to try to race. So we can leave this until later in terms of what we want to do with it, but it feels like we are kind of dying here. Fire would be great against that. Werewolf would be great against that. We're in bad shape, though. They don't even need anything else. Leaving the Finx back. Interesting. I do have something else, though. And it's a 2-4. Yuck. Oh, well, sometimes you just draw the perfects, I guess. They do gain a bunch of life, though. Play the fountain, so we're playing toward transforming the werewolf, and life gain is good in this spot. Oh, we actually, I had a free attack there. If I attack with the burning fist, um, I can just order kitchen finks before Daxos, right? And even though this has persist, this thing dies before the finks comes back, so that was a misplay on my part. Yeah, I I think they have a mass pump here, but Oh, okay. Interesting. So now I don't even think I have a good line here. So if I block, I bolt the Daxos, it'll die. Then they have a 2-1. It's probably worth it. Feeling bad that I missed the uh, extra damage from earlier, though. Oh, they do have that, don't they? Didn't really have a better option, as bad as that feels. Land. Okay, that's interesting. Just try to two turn them.
problem is these things dying and giving them life seems pretty pretty problematic here. Um, I don't think there's going to be a way that I can force through lethal, which sucks. Okay. I think they're supposed to leave Daxos back. They gained a life. Okay. If we draw a land, we like almost win the game. Man, why can't we draw a land? So yeah, if we draw a land, we can make this unable to block and then shoot like the Finks or something. This is ugly. Feels like we're gonna end up losing this game. Like we can't really beat any spell at this point. This thing, the fact that this thing, I can't block it. Wow, they're just going for that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is exact Z's. So they force me to block with, I guess this. Problem is, if I do that, they gain a bunch of life. Okay, so my out here is I flip this, I kill some number of blockers, and I kill them somehow. Yeah, I mean, I think I just die here, but if they have one blocker and I draw a land. Okay, or that happens. <laughs> I mean, we drew the werewolf earlier, which was a pretty sick draw, so can't really complain. Yeah, I think I messed that one up. I think Tybalt might actually be interesting, just the opponents can't gain life clause. Um, there is Invigorate, in fact, by the way. Okay, good to know. Um, don't think we want that one. I do think we want Tybalt though. Seems good enough in this matchup. We can take out like a stone right. I don't think that card's very good. Just try again. Uh, pretty good hand. Can lead on a 3-2 or a 2-1 first strike, depending. Gotta go, hopefully draft number two goes well. Thank you. Appreciate you hanging out as always. I think I don't care about the elf. I just want to put on pressure, so do that. Tap land. You have a two drop for me? Should attack here, yeah. Okay. Missing on land is not terrible. Kitchen Finks, mm-hmm. Kitchen Finks is pretty terrible for me. Okay, another good draw. Opponent very stuck on mana, so it could be worth killing the elves at some point. Inspector. In fact, my line this turn might be... I think I like this. Tap the Finks. I think 
we'll choose yes. Okay. Okay. Nope. Should have blocked with it first. And land is kind of a tough choice there. I'm going to play it out. Okay. I think we're just going to go for the same play here. I think the Honden's too slow. Chomping with your mana dork, I like that. Um, I guess I let first strike damage happen. That's pretty annoying. In that case, I'm going to respond by firing here and here. We saved our Minotaur, dealt them a damage. They play a white creature, it's gonna be a little annoying. I just crack clue here. Nope, never lucky, okay. Celebrant, huh? Let's just try to tap this, see what happens. They might flash back the strands now, no. So I think we attack with all. We're giving up one of these, uh, but we have to get rid of the strands, unfortunately. Getting rid of Swift Spear here. And we can't play this now, unfortunately. So we have to wait until they block, and then we get to Magma Jet that. Now we respond. Um, I like these both. Let's go top, top. Do they go planes and screech here. Okay, bugler. <clears throat> Not super relevant. Choose you. Dishes status done. Nice. Glad to hear it. Looks like we probably have lethal then. Yeah, they're doing this. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So just put this anywhere. Got it. All right. No, I don't think mono red is great either. Uh, this is my first time drafting it and like my third time drafting the cube. Um, okay. So green white stuff. I still don't think we want any of the sideboard cards here. So I guess we're just running it back. Pretty close game considering they got mana screwed. I mean, they weren't really close to killing us. We were at like 19, but we were close to not being able to kill them, I guess. All right, let's just try this again. Man, this hand is super slow. I think I'm still keeping it though. 15 lands, one of them's a cycler. We've got a lot of cheap plays. Okay, so much for this hand is super slow, huh? Suddenly any two or three drop coming in with haste. Sure, we'll trade those off. Or we can haste that in. Okay. I think we don't want to attack here, especially since we have the smoldering werewolf to kill the shepherd. So Juan, what have your favorite um, archetypes been in this cube so far? Rancor, interesting. Block. Okay. Kind of a weird play with the Rancor there. Bugler, okay. Johnny's pride mate, sure. Gonna rancor this up, I imagine. Uh huh. <clears throat> okay. Four three vigilance trampled pretty annoying. Might kill that off with the cone. If we draw a land here, it should be a very nice cone. Okay. Um I think I just have to kill this thing. I mean we can attack for two here. Or do we even want to? Hmm. Maybe I just kill this thing and attack with everything. I think that makes sense. No. Probably not. I could have topped a land for the cone, but... Oh well. Uh, maybe I don't want to attack. God, this is so tough. Maybe I'll attack with this thing. Okay, they did make the trade. Wonder if I should have attacked here. Blah, okay. I have to tap that down with the array, I guess.
Okay. Don't leave, don't need to let them know that we have the cone of flame active. Oh, it should be pretty good here. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a close game here, I think. Yeah, I like the card selection too. Let's see if they have anything. Let's see. Steward. Okay, so we do get to kill their board here. One, two, three. Uh, they get to hit me for seven with the Rancor. Okay. That's pretty terrifying. Might just be dead now. Yeah. I think we're dead, unfortunately. Is there any way out of this? I kind of don't think there is. Man, I'm not sure if I messed up game one or not. But I do think we're dead here to the Rancor. Hmm. Womp womp. we have to block with everything. Hold on. Rancor, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so if I do this, then I miss the two damage from this thing, but I kill their board. We make three one ones. This thing comes back though. Uh, I think we're just dying, unfortunately. They deal me three damage here from Trample. Yep. I mean, we can win. We're not definitely dead, but pretty close. So now they get to embalm the Duelist and put Rancor on that, unless they have a better play, which they might. Yep. So now we need just a removal spell. Oh, well, instant speed removal might save us. Doesn't look like it, unfortunately. I'm gonna attack with all if they block two things. I mean, it just doesn't change anything. These things can't block, so you can kill one. If they somehow block two, then it's great for me. No. No. And then, yeah, we're just very dead here. They Rancor this, which is lethal on its own, and then they just have the 1-1 one -one to boot. So we just have to represent like a burst lightning, which uh, we already spent, but... <laughs> Maybe they don't know that. No, they're going for it. Yeah. Nothing to be done. Kind of surprised the Pilgrim didn't attack, but I guess they're right not to attack with it. Either this thing kills me or it doesn't. Yeah. Oh, well. All right, round number three. Okay, play first. Looks like a keep. This is a pretty nice hand. Attacking with a 3-2 haste on turn two. This 
kind of deck either like steamrolls people or plays a really long game. Ooh, the fountain, the spice. Yes. Go. Phyrexian mana, Porcelain Legionnaire, maybe? Yep. That's going to get bursted here. All right, pwn it down to 10. Uh, stop on upkeep, I guess just in case. Need to fade some kind of sweeper here. Okay, Flame Slash, that I can deal with. I think I still go for this play. Yeah, glad I did. And another one. <laughs> 15 land deck, by the way. Is my thing lagging? Doesn't seem to be. Okay. So it looks like their deck is also pretty aggressive, but. Ooh. Um. Yeah, I mean, we're attacking with both here. I'm not thrilled about this trade, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so the Star Wars cube, pretty much the idea is it's four color artifact synergy um so no green and you have planeswalkers representing um characters from the storyline so i think it's a pretty sweet idea i'm really excited to see whether it's going to come together or not um but um yeah i mean we're planning to do that this weekend we'll see oh man <laughs> Here we go. The old cone of flame target myself with two of the things. Could have gone for the Xaxxes kill here, but this is a little spicier. One damage to me, two damage to that, three damage to you. Do you need to watch the movies first? Uh, no, it's not. It's not that deep. Um, the main. So at first I was like, um, I wanted to make stuff as close to the storyline as possible, and I had like the Tron lands, which uh, from like Eighth Edition they look just like um, different scenes from Star Wars. But then I realized that Tron as a cube archetype is disgusting. Like you don't want to run a cube with like three copies of each Tron land, that's gross. And a lot of the other cards that look very Star Wars-y are just not good enough. So I ended up going for, basically it's just artifact synergy. And like you have the Planeswalkers um, that represent like Jedi and Sith, but that's, that's like it. Um, could play this over something. I think we're fine like this. So they're just red, white. I think they're pretty aggro. I think we can just run this back. Um, but yeah, hopefully it'll be fun trying to uh, <laughs> trying to get cubes made a little faster. It's been taking me a while. Also, uh, let me know what you had in mind for, um, for doing a draft with me because 
I'm almost done with this one. This looks like a great hand, almost the same as the last one. <laughs> okay, Frenzy Goblin, sure. Ooh, Fire should be really good in this matchup. Let's say they go turn two Porcelain Legionnaire. We just kill two creatures, two mana. Could block. I don't think I'm supposed to block here, though. Especially because I have the Honden and the Fire in my hand, so. I'm not too worried about some kind of raid payoff or something. Okay. Yes. Go. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Ooh, well, insider down, but we get to have a pretty good um, fire here. I think I'm supposed to just play the crasher and attack, especially if I draw a land. Sure. Ooh, okay. Well, now I think this is a pretty clear swift spear into fire. Honden deck is gas. Yeah, I saw um, one of my friends, Crackshot, drafted that. Okay. Um, hmm. Now what? We don't really have a mana efficient way to play this. I think I just exert. Get a prowess trigger here. Oh, yikes. Cards are very good in this matchup, I think. Maybe if we draw a bolt, like if we draw a lightning bolt. Uh, or even pacification array, we can make this attack. Hmm. Well, all right, they're just attacking with both, which is a little scary. Just taking the damage here for sure. We're just passing. Okay. See if we can draw a spell here. Ooh, that was a good one. I wonder if they have like a prismatic strands or something. Watch the new YouTube thing with Crackshot later. Sure. Okay. Um, yeah, that's actually we're 
listen to it yeah that makes a little more sense i guess we're planning on doing another one of those um tomorrow so i'm not sure when that one will be up but there will be more about the star wars cube in there okay bolt i accept let's go to blocks here i could just try to kill this by waiting i think it's well actually hmm, this is kind of this is actually pretty interesting. So I can wait on the magma jet, which lets me kill the two, three. But if I do it right now, I get three damage with the prowess and I have all my mana freed up for next turn. So I think it's better, but it's pretty close. Stone right might just be game. Let me, man, am I gonna get super punished for this fountain? So right now the opponent is taking how much damage? Um, they're taking four, right? I think the jet already did the damage to them. So they're going down to seven. Man, this is gonna be super close. I think I top this. If I top it, I pump this three times and ping them once, that's six damage. So it's not quite lethal, but it's really close. If they attack with both and they have nothing, then it kills them. I don't think they're gonna have nothing here though, right? The good news is they don't even kill me next turn. Boiler works, one card in hand. Yeah, I mean, this might be lethal. They have one spell, or one potential spell, I should say. Pump this, I'm gonna try. And wow, they just scooped it up. All right, so we got there. I was thinking about a flash creature in terms of that soul bond. I don't know if that was correct or not, but that was definitely an interesting one. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I will end my streak of two ones here and get a trophy sometime. But yeah, I'll see you soon.